All right. Are we finally rolling? We ready? Are we rolling? We ready? Oh, we ready. Right, let's roll then. We ready? All right. Jim travels taking over the world. What's good guys? We're finally back. Uh, this time, of course, we've got Crayford for you guys. Um, I'll kickstart this one, you know, because I can't lie here. Yeah? It's two experiences with this gym. You've got the bodybuilding side and you've got the powerlifting side. My now, side. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, <laughs> the powerlifting side is slightly smaller than, for example, uh, not going strong, but it's still powerlifting because you've got fully calibrated plates, mm. you've got power bars, we, we didn't really get much of a chance to uh, use the power side the way we would have wanted to because we were running short on time. However, we did sort of did a bit of a deadlifting session in that uh, in that section, which gave us uh, an idea of what they're working with. But there were also also other people around sort of doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, uh, we did as I say two days. The first day we did the bodybuilding, um, got to experience some of the squat racks and machines. Uh, I myself didn't do a lot of that, but Jay, I think you, you kind of... Um, yeah, I had my phone. Bit, didn't you? I had my phone. Yeah. So, from what Tonya, who's the um, the owner, yeah. well, the owner's wife, mm -hmm. um, there's over 306 pieces of equipment in the mm -hmm. gym. Yeah. Five of each. So that's quite a lot. Yeah. So there's yeah. no really waiting time. Yo, so, in terms of equipment, there's a wide array of equipment. Remember that bicep machine that we were playing around with? Yeah. yeah. And there were like three it versions of it. Full movement. It's know, crazy. Yeah. It's actually crazy because you kind of like had to hold yourself up and kind of like. I can't even explain right. it. We're going to show you a little. It's to bodybuilding. Yeah, we'll show you a little clip of Every that. single muscle fiber is being worked yeah. in that gym. It's <laughs> honestly, if, if Norman Strong is a powerlifter's haven, then. Crayford is a bodybuilder's haven. Yes, it's right, honestly yeah. a playground for bodybuilders. Not to say that uh, the powerlifting side was lacking, but I think what it is is predominantly most of the people who probably go to this gym will go there for yeah. uh, the bodybuilding. Bodybuilding. And also, yeah. it is one of two IFBB approved gym in the UK. Mm. So that's quite special. Yeah, that's that quite special. Yeah. That's something. I've, I don't think I've ever come across any gyms who kind of got that, uh, those kind of accolades. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of a kind in, in that sense. Uh, but it also seems to be quite known. If you like, for example, if, if you're on social media and you've seen some people like Cons, uh, Cons Lion, Gabs, uh, what, what's it? Is it Gabs Lifts? Gabs the Great. Gabs the Great. <laughs> Gabs, yeah. don't mess like, with they, Gabs. Bro, Gabs the Great. <laughs> to be honest, if you haven't seen Gabs the Great yet, go check out. We'll, put it, we'll put it in the description. Below. But yeah. these people are all lifting at that gym, so they've got some big names in that gym, not yeah. just from the on the Insta platform, but also pro bodybuilders. And we actually have got a chance to meet one of them, um, which will leave for the main GTX for you guys. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, so I mean, they are quite. Uh, some some people in there that you you will see and you think oh wow okay so yeah it's got reputation um, in terms of the overall so like from the filming perspective how yeah. did you find it Anthony? Um, 
Yeah, the film the film was great. It's it's a really large place, mm. um, a l large unit. Um, I think it's uh, three hundred and six square feet in mm. size. So it's it's really big. Um, I think getting different points, getting different sides, um, and and you guys are gonna see some of the gimbal shots. It was really good. Um, generally, also when you're walking in, just the atmosphere of how it was. Uh, people are really friendly. They have a kitchen. So they have a designated no, that's it. So I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, yo, I got to Sally's say kitchen. that was like the very first thing we went to. Because basically what it was, you know, we walked in and then as we as we kind of discovering what the gym has, we saw like a place where that kinda of just had seats mm. all around. And then I noticed that in the kitchen and this yeah. and I was like, wait, what's yeah. going on? This is a gym. Yeah, I know, I know. And I was like, so yeah. I spoke to her, her name was Sally, she was a lovely lady yeah. and um yeah, she's like, yeah, no, we basically meal prep for people who compete and people who just want to eat something after gym and yeah. we have meals. But I was like, what? That's a special gym right now. I was like, you, you and don't precise. see that. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. count, they don't, work according don't to the yeah. macros. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I mean, that that's one of a kind feature of any gym we've been to so far. Um, it's Ooh. amazing. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of parking, uh, you know what, because of both of you and I drove and we yeah, actually managed yeah, to get yeah, spaces there was that. Th there was extensive amount of parking so they are in a retail park but mm. they have um, dedicated parking on the left hand side of the building and then also on the, at the front of the building yeah so there's parking and if you can't get parking there yeah um, you can park in one of the, sh the um, like retail stores and then yeah go have your workout and come back yeah. so there's parking yeah i think it's yeah. within walking distance of most places as well mm. um, so if you're around the area and you're just doing sort of your own thing to so say if you've got a retail center uh you've got i'll say even a lot of residential areas yeah. which you can find parking yeah. and then just yeah. walk down to the gym so by all means would you would you struggle to find parking um jay did you want to touch on for the, the membership yeah no problem yeah. so this one's a bit different so you have the powerlifting membership mm. 57 quid you got the bodybuilders membership for 52 quid mm. i'm just going to list a couple of you you got mm. students and for a day pass mm. for for a bodybuilder seven quid yeah. if you're a powerlifter it's 10 quid there's a lot more but check out uh, their website for more information mm. Mm. Yeah. i mean as i say you are getting too experienced with this gym so if you do ever want to go down Choose your experience. Yeah. I, I think you won't be disappointed regardless of which one you go for. This it's got a lot to offer regardless of what it is that you do. Um, and I think they've got a decent community there as well. Uh, we got to meet some of the powerlifters on the over the yeah. weekend. Um, unfortunately, we we did plan a collaboration. Uh, I want to say who, but <laughs> hopefully it happens again in the future. Um, but. Essentially, yeah, we got to meet some of the guys in the gym and yeah. everybody was lovely from Tanya, the gym, uh, the gym owner's wife. We didn't actually meet the gym owner himself, but apparently he was looking forward to meeting us. As Paul, well. name is Paul. It would have been amazing to, yeah. to meet him. Um, hopefully we can do something with and him. And he's an IFBB pro judge, you know? Apparently, he's a judge, he's a judge. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. He's yeah. designed the gym to how he w he envisioned it. So yeah. Yeah. And you can definitely see it and it reflects in everything. So him as an IFBB uh, judge, you can definitely see what he was going through. Yeah, I think it's something I, I forgot to touch on is it's just the, the way the gym is is laid is yeah. laid out. Yeah. Um, so you come in, you've got the first ground floor, and yeah. then you've got another level above, which peers down. It, it's just amazing. Mm. It really does look nice. Mm. Um, it's just synced. It's all in sync. Yeah. No, um, it just you always feel like you're just in one loop. Yeah. So no. But Hats I'm off to them, man. Hats off. We even had a chance to speak to oh, one day. Oh, yeah. One yeah, day, yeah. the bodybuilder, who is, he's won over yeah, 20. Yeah, yeah. He won over 20. Hey, that's the guy who won me in the GTA. Yeah, yeah. That's the guy who, listen, in the GTA, so, there's a little segment of uh, one day speaking. And, but yeah, yeah I, that's. Uh, Let's leave that one there. We don't, we don't want to go too deep and show too much. But yeah, I mean, this is about the gym, of course. Yes, so, yes, yes. overall, the gym was amazing. Yeah. It definitely gets the gym's uh, gym travel stamp of approval once yeah, again. True. There hasn't, if, honestly, all the gyms we've been to are, have been amazing. Yeah, there hasn't been a gym that we felt that was disappointing. This was a two day experience for us. Yeah. That says a lot because yeah. even on the second day, we still felt like we had so much to discover. Say there's a wide array of machines and everything the gym has to offer was amazing. So, anyway, guys, do you have anything else to add before no, we no, round no, this no, off? No, no, no. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching our video once again. Please share, like, subscribe. subscribe we, we need them subscribers. We try, our goal this year is to get to a thousand subscribers. We need that thousand. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah, honestly, every little bit helps. So even if you're commenting, you're liking the video, and you're showing it to somebody else, you're helping us. So please, yeah. guys, yeah. support us on this journey. Come with us. And what do we always say, guys? Gym, Gym travels, travels taking over, over the world. world. Gym travels out.